welcome to this presentation in this presentation i am going to speak about biotelemetry pilus telemetry permits examination of the physiological data of man or animal under normal conditions and in natural surroundings without any discomfort or obstruction to the person or animal under investigation factors influencing healthy and sick persons during the performance of their duty daily task may thus be easily recognized and evaluated wireless biotelemetry has made possible the study of active subjects and their condition so that the prohibited measurements can be done easily there is therefore an in indispensable technique in situations where no cable connection is feasible using wireless telemetry physiological signals can be obtained from swimmers riders athletes pilots and manual laborers telemetric surveillance is most convenient during transportation within the hospital area as well for the continuous monitoring of the patients into other wards and clinics for check up of their health the modulation systems used in wireless telemetry for transmitting biomedical signals make use of two modulators this means that a comparatively low frequencies of carrier is employed in addition to the vhf which finally transmits the signal from the transmitter the principle of double modulation gives better interference free performance in transmission and enables the reception of low frequency biological signals the sub modulator can be a fm system or a pwm system that is pulse width modulation system whereas the final modulator is practically always an fm system frequency modulation is nothing but an intelligence is transmitted by varying the instantaneous frequency in accordance with the signal to be modulated on the wave while keeping the amplitude of the carrier wave constant the rate at which the instantaneous frequency varies is the modulating frequency and the magnitude to which the carrier frequency varies away from the center frequency is called the frequency deviation and is proportional to the amplitude of the modulating signal biotelemetry is an electrical technique for, for conveying biological information from a living organism to a location where this information can be observed or recorded thus it refers to the communication between a living system and an observer today biotelemetry is extended for monitoring patients in a hospital from remote location for monitoring the astronauts in space patients and uh, who are on the job and uh, are home carrying implanted pacemaker athletes running a race and the main elements of biotelemetry are the transducer signal conditioner and the transmission link the transducer converts the biological signal into electrical signal and the signal conditioner amplifies and modifies the signal for effective transmission the transmission link connects the signal input blocks to the readout device for by wire or wireless means this diagram shows the block diagram of a biotelemetry system the telemetry system should be selected uh, to transmit the bioelectric signals with maximum fidelity and simplicity there would not be any constraint for living system and uh, any interference with the living system the size and weight of the telemetry system should be small it should have more stability and reliability and the power consumption should be very small for a wire transmission shielding of cable is a must to reduce the noise level and uh, now let us see the main advantages of biotelemetry it is used to record the bio signals over long periods patient is not disturbed during recording for future reference or to study the treatment effect and monitor athletes running a race and for monitoring the persons who are in action the biotelemetry is an ideal one for recording on animals particularly for research the biotelemetry is greatly used and the uses of biotelemetry is all the biotelemetry helps us to record the bio signals over long periods and while the patient is engaged in his normal activities the medical attendant attendants can easily diagnose the nature of the disease by seeing the telemetry signals without affecting the patient's room the <coughs> patients in his room without any mechanical disturbance during recording by means of the biotelemetry can be applied here and does to study the treatment effect of biotelemetry is the essential one for recording on animals particularly for research and biotelemetry is greatly used for monitoring the persons who are in action the biotelemetry is an ideal one and the radio telemetry system that is most biotelemetry systems are involved with radio transmission and reception of bio signals and there are two types of uh, biotelemetry system one is called single channel and the other is multi channel for a single channel telemetry system a miniature battery operated radio transmitter is connected to the electrodes of the patients and the transmitter broadcasts the bio potential to a remote place in which the receiver detects the radio signal and recovers the signal from further processing 
the receiving system can be located in a room separately from the patient and the only risk is the shock to the patient this diagram shows the block diagram of a single channel telemetry system bio signal from the patient is converted into electrical signal by transducer they are amplified and uh, filtered uh, at the conditioner the further the uh, frequency modulator or pulse modulator frequency modulation provides a high noise interference reduction and high stability bio signals are amplified to radio frequency range of few hundred kilohertz to about 300 kilohertz and then they are transmitted by the transmitting antennas at radio receiver the corresponding frequency are received and then they are demodulated amplified and displayed a bio single channel bio, bio telemetry system can be used in transmission of bioelectric variables such as active measurements and passive measurements in single channel telemetry system the measurements are made under any of these two categories only active measurement is nothing but here the bioelectric bioelectric variables like ecg emg eeg are directly measured without any excitation voltage passive me in uh, passive measurements here the bi bioelectric variables like uh, blood pressure temperature blood flow are measured indirectly using transducer and excitation voltage the advantages of single channel system is uh, that all the signal can be transmitted by using the circuit and no shielded room is needed and interference is much reduced and then the uh, second category is multi channel telemetry system most of the biomedical experiments need simultaneous recording of several signals each signal is required a telemetry signal uh, channel uh, when the number of channel is small simultaneous operation of several single channel unit is difficult thus multiple channel telemetry system is adopted and multiple channel telemetry system can be divided into two types that is one is frequency division multiplexer and time division multiplexer and frequency division multiplexing each signal is frequency modulated on a subcarrier frequency then these modulated subcarrier frequencies are combined to modulate the main or of carrier at the receiver side of the uh, the modulated subcarriers will be separated by the proper band pass filters after their first discrimination the individual signals are recovered from these modulated subcarriers by the second set of discriminators the frequency of the subcarriers has to be carefully selected to avoid interference the low pass filters are used to extract the signals without any noise this diagram shows the block diagram of a frequency division multiplexing unit and the second category is time division multiplexing system since most biomedical signals have low frequency bandwidth requirements we can use time division multiplexing system by the time sharing system this diagram shows the time division multiplexing system the transmission channel is connected to each uh, single channel input for a short time to sample and transmit that signal then the transmitter is switched to the next channel in a definite sequence when all the channels have been scanned once the cycle is completed and the next cycle will start in pulse width modulation the method has the advantage of being less perceptive to distortion and noise in a pulse width modulator uh, transistors q1 and q2 form free running multi vibrator and transistors q3 and q4 provide constant current sources for ch uh, charging their timing capacitors c1 and c2 and driving transistors q1 and q2 and usually an fm signal is produced by controlling the frequency of the oscillator by amplitude of the modulating voltage for example the frequency of oscillation of most oscillator depends on the particular value of the capacitance if the modulation signal can be applied in such way that it the uh, changes the value of the capacitance then the frequency of oscillation will change in accordance with the amplitude of the modulating signal so the diode used in a, used is a varactor diode operating in the reverse bias mode and therefore it presents a depletion layer capacitance to this tank circuit this capacitance is a function of the reverse bias voltage across the do diode and therefore produces an fm wave with a modulating signal applied uh, up across the diode then the other side of the capacitor is connected to the base of the transistor q2 and is at zero volt when q1 turns on and switching circuit to another stage the base voltage q2 drops from approximately zero to minus em transistors uh, q2 will remain off until the base voltage charges to zero volt since the charging current is a constant at i the time required to charge c2 and restore the circuit to the initial stage so uh, this shows that both the portions of the stable period are directly proportional to the modulating voltage so when the balanced differential output from the amplifier such as ccg amplifier is applied 
the input points are one and two. The frequency of the stable multivibrator would remain constant, but with the width of the pulse available at the collector of the transistor Q2 shall vary in accordance with the amplitude of the input signal. In practice, uh, the negative edge of the square wave is varied in rhythm of the ECG signal. Therefore, only this edge contains the information of interest. Uh, the ratio P is to Q represents the momentary amplitude of the ECG. The amplitude or even the frequency variation of the square wave doesn't have the influence of P is to Q ratio. Consequently, on the ECG signal. The signal output from this modulator is fed to the normal speech transmitter usually via an attenuator to make it suitable to the input level of the transmitter. So, in every country there are regulations governing the use of only certain bandwidth for medical telemetry. Therefore, the permission to operate a particular telemetry system needs to be obtained from the postal department of the country concerned. The radio frequencies are normally used for medical telemetry system. And well, um, medical telemetry system uh, purposes are of the order of 37, 102, 153, 159, 220 and 450 megahertz. The transmitter is typically 50 milliwatts at 50 ohms which can give a transmission range of about 1.5 kilometer in the open flat country. Thank you.